are truly um, demonstrating the fact, my strong belief, that social just justice is embedded, is truly embedded existentially in us, especially those of us who choose to be in the helping profession. We do have that incorporated. You cannot get away from it. Therefore, I'm suggesting at this moment, at this time, when you are graduating, you have a deserving place in the world to demand what the world is going to do for me. I have this flag of gradu graduating with a doctoral degree, with experience, with competency, what the world can do for me. I'm not suggesting for you to abandon that very demand, but I hope that having to expand and include one more thing. Look inside and see which part of your talent truly connect with the need of our, with the many needs of our community. With that, you are on the road to be the future of our profession. And knowing the stigma and the accessibility issues that face our communities, and the actual need for more culturally and linguistically appropriate uh, workforce to serve them with caring, with uh, devotion, with uh, full hearts. Kudos to Dr. Pierre, founder of INCES, for her leadership and her vision, and uh, all the hard work that she and her team has done in order to prepare yet another cohort of future mental health leaders. Congratulations. Graduating interns, I consider you very fortunate to have chosen IMCS as the place where you've uh, continued your process of shaping into uh, full-fledged psychologists, mental health uh, providers. It's also such a treat uh, to be a part of such a diverse cohort of individuals. I am sure that in sitting in classes together, in conversations, in breaks, you have enriched each other with wonderful cultural perspectives. We have been blessed not just to see you in your professional and clinical development, but also in assisting you in bringing so vi something so vital to our clients and our community, and that's peace. So many, so many of our clients have come to us because of an internal struggle that they have. Their eternal peace has been taken away from them. Anxiety, depression, psychotic issues, and other issues have taken away their peace and their hope. We've been called to be peacemakers. Not only to assist our clients in finding the eternal peace, but also to assist their families and their communities to find that peace. I want to thank the supervisory team who's been super instrumental in providing the guidance and training for the um, interns for this year. Their open door policy for supervision and collaborative work is a role model for the rest of the interns as they um, move along in their professional development. Um, we work collaboratively as a team and we see your development as one of our uh, major goals in our um, in our in our jobs um, and we know that our jobs are not done either and we know that the jobs that we're doing with you the things that we're teaching um, are things that we know that you will take forward into your professional lives our programs different or what makes the programs in INCS different are you it's the 13 of you and the rest of the organization that have put your blood sweat and tears into the program that makes ours unique the cultural diversity, the multidisciplinary teams, and all the things that we do are what makes our program stand out. And I know that our programs stand out because I go to meetings and meet with other people. And let me tell you guys that it's not just cliche talk. We do something very, very special, and um, it's it's very appreciated. When you ask, did we make the right the right choice? I say, hell yeah. Through the countless hours of seminars, we've learned skills to launch into our careers and help us manage our personal lives. With over 1,000 hours of direct service, we have combined four years of academic rigor with evidence-based interventions to help our clients achieve their goals. 
But the most invaluable experience that sets the site apart comes from the fight for human dignity for all living things and the search for inconsistencies that exist in the world because of injustice, inequality, and prejudice. With growing tensions around the world, the opportunity to fight alongside one of the leading advocators for human justice is an experience that cannot be accurately captured with words. Because of you, Dr. Peer, we leave this chapter of our lives as lifelong learners, always assessing, always looking through our third eye, and always implementing a plan, no matter how big or small, to overcome the inconsistencies and advocate for the underserved. And let me read this. Dr. Tara Peer, Institute for Multicultural Counseling and Education Services, on behalf of the California State Legislature and the 53rd Assembly District, I commend Tara Peer, PhD, for her development and implementation of a successful APA accredited clinical training program for new and emerging professionals in the field of psychology and provision of health and mental health interventions to save and improve the lives of thousands of underserved culturally and linguistically diverse children, youth, and families in Los Angeles County. May your determination, integrity, and character serve as an example to others and make an impact as you have. Best wishes on your future endeavors and continued success from Assemblymember Miguel Santiago. my course um, and um, just thank you for making me better. I was able to meet 13 amazing people that were extremely supportive throughout the year, uh, always checking in on me and making sure that um, I knew that they cared about me. I grew up, um, I'll be the first person in my family to be a doctor. Yeah. 